Hello everyone. Oh, this is going to be such a fun video to do. Um, this is my Sephora haul from everything that I purchased from the very first half of the Sephora VIB sale. Um, I have saved for this sale for quite some time, so I was very happy with what I was able to purchase. Um, of course, with it being everything being 20% off, um, you know, I just took the opportunity to go ahead and get those items that I was just really, really, really wanting. Um, something that I probably would not have purchased otherwise. But uh, thanks to the VIB sale, I was able to make those hard purchases. <laughs> so, all right, so let's go ahead and get started because we got two boxes to go through and I there are some things that I kind of want to swatch and try on camera for you guys. Um, so one of the very first items I picked up is another Grand, uh, Grand or Grande Lash, Lash MD. Uh, it's an enhancing serum for eyelashes. This stuff is unbelievable. Now I know there is some eyelash growth serum uh, that is super expensive. This I would say is more of in the medium price range. This is I believe $65. Um, I will definitely have the price link down below, but when I first started this stuff, my eyelashes were non-existent, okay? I could actually look at myself in the mirror, and I didn't even notice if I had eyelashes or not. That's how bad my eyelashes were. So, with that being said, I had bought my first round, and I'm like, there is just no way that this stuff is going to work. And um, I made myself use it every single night before bed, okay? And within just the first couple weeks, I started to know a difference. It was incredible. I could walk past the mirror and I could actually notice that I was starting to have lashes that would actually show up. So this is round number two. Um, unfortunately, I did take a mini break uh, just because of the fact that this is $65. So with the for Sephora VIB sale, I was able to repurchase this. It will last you a good three months, just so you know, if you use it uh, one time every night y'all you only have to dip it in once and then swipe it for each eye and that is it so um, if you guys are interested in a la eyelash growing serum this one you should definitely check out I totally recommend this one of the next items uh, that I picked up I got off of a recommendation from one of my favorite youtubers um, and this is the bite beauty agave kisses set now during the winter time my lips get so dry i actually had to stop wearing um lipstick or, or even lip gloss just for a while just because my lips were just not happy <laughs> and um i saw her recommend this and how her lips basically did the same thing and how moisturizing this was and how it kind of revived her lips back to life and i was like maybe I should try that and I am definitely down for anything that is going to help my lips especially in the winter time all year long you know I do try and keep some form of chapstick or something on my lips but it just it's just so much worse when it hits fall and winter um, this contains a a lip balm a sugar lip scrub and a lip mask and lord knows nobody likes dry lips so uh, it does come in a little tin case. This is what it looks like right here. And there are your three products. Um, so this is your lip balm. I have tried this once and it did feel really nice on the lips. It doesn't really have a smell to it, so I don't, I don't mind either way. Um, but I want to continue using that because if it does end up working, I will most definitely be purchasing that. Uh, full size and it also gives you this is the uh, lip mask that you use in the nighttime I have not used that yet I cannot wait to see how that works and then this is the lip scrub oh it's just kind of see that that one I want to say it kind of has like a, a honey scent to it either way I'm down for it if it works. <laughs> that's, that's seriously, that's what I need. This next item I actually was not going to purchase at first, but one of my friends from Instagram had brought it to my attention 
and I was like, okay, you know, maybe I'll go to Sephora, check it out. So when I went to Sephora, I actually swatched it and I was pretty impressed. So I went ahead and ordered the Huda Beauty um, Obsessions palette, the warm brown palette. It's her new mini palettes. They, I think she came out with four different ones and I picked up this one. This packaging is just a clear case and it slides right out, nothing fancy. And then you go right to the case itself you lift this up it actually does give you a really nice mirror um, and then there are your shadows right here these are her full-size shadows the only difference with this is just the packaging the packaging is smaller but if you were to actually take this out place it onto her eyeshadows and her bigger eyeshadow palettes they are the same exact size um, now this one you only get one shimmer and the rest are matte so I can't wait to play with this they feel so good look at this look at those swatches so this is gonna be a really fun one to play with so I actually want to pick up two more of these um, I'm thinking maybe the mauve or the smoky one um, whichever one has the the silver and the black so um, that will possibly be in my second Sephora VIB sale haul oh. moving on I also picked up now okay I was not gonna pick this up at first either oh my goodness and then I went into this store and see this is the problem when I go into the store I start noticing that thing that things are so much nicer than they would be online so not a fan of the packaging it's the leopard or yeah the packaging that I just don't think is has to do anything with Christmas but this is the Marc Jacob lipstick and it is in the color perfect which you know play on words but the packaging is so nice it I love the fact that it is magnetic and it has a really really nice weight to it and this color is so beautiful look at this oh my gosh I tried this on in store and I I fell in love <laughs> I fell in love look at that that is just so pretty so I am really really happy about that and it just it felt really creamy and nice on the lips as well in staying with the whole lip scenario I also picked up the Huda Beauty winter solstice collection they are the lip strobe minis um, once again this has that clear packaging the only thing with this is that mine broke um, can you see right there that little crack is not supposed to be there so thank goodness nothing actually happened to my lip strobes but if it did I kind of would have been upset now um, my first glance at these is that you really cannot tell uh, which is which until you look up at top but if you look down in the bottom you won't be able to tell what color is what because they do look the same in the bottom um, and I will actually go ahead and swatch these for you now when I tried these on I thought no way are these going to be wearable there's just no way it's not my thing um, but they really are gorgeous they are they're a lot more wearable than what I thought they would be so this one I put on my lips uh, this one is charmed and then there are the colors right there it's like a purple um, kind of like I don't want to say goldish white it looks white on my lips um, but and then blue and then pink and I think it just gives this perfect amount of just shimmer and this is going to be incredible for holiday parties now when you rub your lips together you can definitely um, feel the the glitter on your lips but it's nothing that is noticeable as you talk you really have to just sit there and kind of you know put your lips together and kind of grind them back and forth but I think this is totally wearable I am in love with these all right so keeping up with the lip theme I also picked up the Fenty Beauty gloss balm uh, now I did originally try this on in store you know it felt really nice it smelled really good but the color um, I wasn't I wasn't too sure about 
but I went back and tried it again and um, instead of wiping it off before I left I actually left the store wore it the whole day and actually got to look in daylight in mirrors and it had to be something in the store the lighting in the store because it looked completely different I could actually tell the difference on my lips outside of the store um, and I actually really ended I actually ended up really liking this so I picked this up um, this is something that caught my eye oh my goodness this was in the checkout at Sephora and it wasn't even on my radar at first but it just drew me in it is the Sephora winter flush uh, now this is a blush palette and first of all this packaging is so gorgeous um, it just it just makes me want to go into a winter wonderland um, but you open this up and you're supposed to get eight blushes okay I would not say you get eight blushes let me show you what I mean um, now the packaging on this they did really really well when they shipped this look at this so you have this here and then you have this protective foam and then you open this up and then here is your packaging on this, more snowflakes. Uh, it just brings me back to this Christmas time theme and I really enjoy the packaging on this. Um, you open this up, you do get a mirror. Um, and then these are your blushes right here. So you're supposed to get eight in total. These little side strips are supposed to be blush, uh, blushes as well. Um, but let me go ahead and swatch these for you guys. I think the colors are so pretty. They were what I was looking for. So. All right, so there are your first four. Now they are very buildable and I do enjoy that in a blush. I like to be able to build up the color. I don't wanna have to you know put my brush on my cheek and then just just kind of like wham bam in your face blush no um, I want to start little and kind of build it up to the amount that I like and that is definitely what I can do with these um, so let's go ahead and do these outside four And these definitely have a shimmer to them. So I would consider them more of a blush topper than I would an actual blush. We are going to go ahead and do these swatches one more time and just kind of layer everything up. And I wanna show you how nicely they work up. All right. All right, so that is with the second swatch. Do you see how buildable they can be? So I really, really like that, and I definitely enjoy the colors. Now, if we go back and we do the little stripe section, that's supposed to be blushes. Um, all right, so there it is with a second swatch right there. Um, these are buildable as well, but because they do have a sheen to it, um, I won't be using these more so as a blush. I'll be using them as the blush topper, um, but I think this is a great palette. Um, I really, really, really enjoy the packaging. I really enjoy the blush colors, and um, I enjoy that they are buildable. So I think Sephora did a really nice job with this package, and I cannot wait to play with this some more. So I was really, really excited for this next one. Um, I was able to pick up the Vizzy Art Golden Hour Palette. Um, I have had my eye on this for quite some time, and I was just so excited when I saw that it was still available during the sale. Uh, you do get nine shadows in this, and I have never tried a Vizzy Art um, eyeshadow before so this is just a really good deal for me open it up and this is what the packaging looks like this packaging is so incredible it is a good sturdy packaging probably one of the best I have ever owned um, as far as packaging goes it feels it's got a really really good weight to it it just feels like it's going to protect my shadows 100 percent um the only downside i have with this and for some reason this is just bugs the crap out of me i don't know if you can see it um but mine came with a scratch i don't can you see that right there 
Ugh, and that just, that drives me nuts. But, you know, it's, it's on the inside that counts. So, you do open it up. You really get a, a very good size mirror. And these are your shadows right here. I'm sorry. It does have a film on it, which I left because it has been shadow names on it. But those are your colors right there. And I think they are beautiful. I actually have them on my eyes today. Uh, I used this color right here. I used this color. I used this color right here. And then I used um, this one for my inner corner. I do have to say, they were everything I thought they were going to be. I am so happy with this purchase. Um, if you can get your hands on this, go for it because this palette is just amazing. And like I said, Viseart uh, eyeshadows for $50. Who in their right mind would pass that up? Okay, now this next item. <laughs> I was back and forth so many times on this item. I, oh my gosh, I was giving myself anxiety. You know, I wanted it, but did I need it? But I wanted it but do I really need it? And I, but I really wanted it, but I wasn't sure if I needed it. <laughs> so once again, when I was on my little adventure, kind of going through Sephora, deciding what it was that I wanted to purchase, um, I happened to swatch this palette and it sold me. It sold me so much. I fell in love and I knew right away it was a yes, I was gonna get the palette. And that is the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette. I, of course, everybody knows by now, the packaging on this is so incredible. I love what she did with this. Um, so you open it up, you have your Saint and Sinner side, and there, there is your beautiful palette. Now, the mirror placing, of course, makes no sense to me because I really don't feel that it is a sufficient mirror. It's not something that you'll be able to use. It really is just for details. So because the packaging is so unique, I will let it slide. So I just kind of don't even pay attention that they're there. Um, I do understand the placement because of the packaging, but the colors, the colors are so gorgeous the minute i was swatching these in store they just screamed by me and i cannot wait to do a look with this palette so i am so happy i got this so i am actually all stocked up on skincare so i really didn't need any skincare whatsoever however i am a sucker for face masks and i can never have enough face masks so i did pick me up the My Skinlicious Secret Pantry. This is a set of five. This is a set of five sheet masks, and they are the um, the egg cream sheet mask. I've never actually tried this before, so I'm so excited to try this out. Now, the next two items I'm going to show you very briefly. Um, I do have a giveaway going on at the moment, but I've actually already started collecting for my next giveaway. Um, so that will be coming soon. And I just want to show you, it is a tart item and a Sephora favorites item. So that's all you get to see of those two. And last, I was so excited to get this i have been wanting this so bad i did not buy it the first round because i know i have put this in an anti haul before because of the price and i never saw myself buying this palette but with the 20 percent off i justified it in my head <laughs> and because it did come back just in time for the sephora sale I took it as a sign that it was destiny. Anyways, it, it is the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. <sighs> All right, so the packaging is just this plain white packaging. Um, I don't know what I was expecting as far as the box goes, but um, I mean, who really cares about the box? It's the palette that counts. Here it is. It feels so nice. Oh my God gosh I love it so much uh, the packaging on this is incredible it's just like 
this really, really nice case. And I mean, for $129, it better be. Um, but this is definitely, you get what you pay for. It really, really is. You open it up. I have not detached this. I um, definitely want to keep that. Everybody knows there are your colors. You can definitely see. I've already played around in this just because I could not wait. Um, and I have to say, when I put this on my eyes, the eyeshadow blended so effortlessly. I had to do barely any work at all, and it was so blended. This is everything that I was hoping it would be. Oh my God, my eyes are getting teary just thinking about it, just because I wanted this so bad, but I never imagined myself buying it because of the price tag, but because of the sale, and because of what I had saved, I was able to purchase this and I am so ecstatic. Oh my gosh, you have like no idea. Um, so, I feel like all my makeup dreams have come true. <laughs> this is my first 100% extremely expensive item. And I have picked up extra shifts at work so I could buy this and uh that was not easy to do because work drives me nuts <laughs> but you know if you want it you gotta do the work but if i wanted this i knew i had to put in the hours and so that's what i did i put in the extra hours and i was able to purchase this so this is a huge accomplishment for me <laughs> oh my goodness Oh my gosh, guys, this is just round one, and I, they have a second round coming up. I will be having another haul for you guys on the second round. It won't be as big. It definitely won't be as big, um, but I do have a couple items I still have to purchase, um, and I will do another haul video for you guys for that as well. Um, so if you did like this video, please give it a, a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. I would love to have you a part of my channel. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram. I will have that link down below as well, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.